I just, I don't foresee a positive outcome in the future for these bunnies. I wanna see a full commitment from the LeBrant family to take care of these bunnies for the entirety of their lives and to actually give them the proper rabbit care. Well, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Lorelai here. Thank you all again so much for supporting our Hop Litter Box launch, the world's first covered litter box with a built-in and removable hay feeder made specifically for bunnies. We have a few surprises with regards to other additions that we're gonna be putting out to complement the hop litter box. I will go ahead and link it right below for you if you wanna buy it. It is on Amazon. We are fully stocked now. We've sold out three times. It is available in Mexico and Canada. Europe is our next stop. And again, we wanna keep expanding even more internationally. Today, we have some spicy, content as we approach Easter. Easter is this Sunday. Now, as many of you know, I don't personally celebrate Easter along with Lenin. We abstain every year because of the negative association it has with bunnies. Now, I'm not talking about all the fun, cute little trinkets that you can buy at Marshalls and Target, everything's bunny related. In that respect, it can be fun. So I get it, I get it. But there's the dark side of it, which is the hyper commercialization of bunnies to be sold for profit, to be acquired as novelties during this season and to then shortly be dumped after Easter is over. There is a huge wave of dumped bunnies after Easter ends. But I wanted to specifically tie into this video, there is a very, very famous, powerful YouTube slash influencer family called the LeBrant fam. And they just got bunnies for their small children for Easter and blasted it all over the internet. Now these guys, they have 13 million subscribers it was very very disappointing i have to say and only because of the approach i'm not mad at somebody getting bunnies if you want bunnies get your bunnies the members of the lebrant fam are savannah and cole those are the parents i don't know the ages of their children they look really young I also want to point out that the LeBrant fam has a history in their videos in which they buy various pets for their small children, including taking our six-year-old to the pet store and buying her any pet she wants. Our first pet died. It's officially time to get a new puppy. Our puppy has been missing for three weeks. It was too many to include, so if you want to go look at it, you can. So the first story that Savannah posts on March 22nd, thinking about getting the kids a bunny for Easter. They have been begging. Anyone know of any bunnies for sale near Franklin, Tennessee? DM me if you have any. We like Holland Lops. So far from looking. I've also heard there are bunnies that are potty trained. So she shoots that message out to her 7 million Instagram followers. In that story, she's already saying she's choosing to buy. Not adopt, buy. It makes me sad, it really does, because there are so many homeless bunnies at the shelter on death row, days away from being euthanized due to overcrowding at the shelter because nobody will adopt them. The rescues are overrun with bunnies needing homes. So many adoptables. Spayed, neutered, they have their shots, they're healthy, they're ready to go, they're socialized. You have a family here with means, with resources, with a good income. And those bunnies are being overlooked now. I will say, it's possible that Savannah is not aware that there are adoptable bunnies out there. Maybe she's 
unaware that there are bunnies at the shelter. And I will cut some slack for that because that happened to me. It happened to me and I will always extend a little bit of understanding, a little bit of empathy in that direction. Savannah clearly has a breed in mind already. She says they like the Holland Lops, they want the Holland Lops. That may be a reason that they are choosing to go to a breeder, which is really sad because as we know, all bunnies are equally beautiful, lovable, and they all are deserving of a home. I personally don't wanna discriminate against any breed going forward in my life, but it, but there's still a lot of that, you know, and it, and it applies to other animals, dogs, cats, etc. people, they focus on a specific breed. That's what they want. That's what they're going to go for. So then she says, I've heard there are bunnies that are potty trained, question mark. It's clear to me this is someone who really has done zero research. Rather ask her followers, who are probably not bunny people, than just a simple Google search about bunny care 101. If being potty trained is the selling point, if that sounds appealing to you, then then the course of action would be to to get an adoptable because they are already potty trained. So then yesterday it was the the 24th, so a few days a couple days later, we did a thing or two. Meet Honey Bunny and Bazy May. They are sisters and the kids are all obsessed with them. And she posts fo a photo of her kids cradling the bunnies on their backs. How did, how did I know that was going to happen? How did I know? You know, I, I, I don't have a problem with people getting bunnies. If you're going to buy them, fine. Fine, go buy them. At least, at the very, very least, just do a simple Google search. People, bunnies don't like being held on their backs. I know at times it can seem like they are enjoying it. If you get them in that position and they surrender to it, it's kind of because they don't have a choice. You're not giving them a choice. But it reminds them of being swooped up by a predator they kind of can get really sensitive re really vulnerable and and it can stress them out my thing is guys it's it's not even so much the way they're holding them it's just the fact that there's young children doing it there is a history a well-documented history of bunny injuries being caused by small children because of the mishandling. There is a reputation. Ask any vet. Ask your own vet. How many times a week bunnies with broken legs, broken bones come in because a kid drops them? It's just simply the overall mishandling of the bunny. You know, they're twisting, they're turning, they're kicking because as we know, that's how bunnies tend to react when you pick them up. There has to be a layer of expertise that comes with handling, picking up, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so now we move on to Cole. Cole is the, the husband, the dad. We'll call him the dad. So Cole then posts uh, the bunnies and then I did not agree to this. So even more stories about this. Um, and of course, this this tiny, tiny little girl. Oh, she's even younger than the other one, so they must have like four kids. She's now holding the bunny. Okay, and then we have a video. So then Savannah posts a video. The bunnies are just now free roaming outside. This young girl is kissing the bunny, very cute dangerous nonetheless and just to avoid confusion by dangerous i mean because rabbits are prey animals they could easily get swooped up by birds of prey or any other predators in the surrounding area the bunnies are just roaming outdoors i just i don't foresee a positive outcome in the future 
for these bunnies. I want to know that they're they're actually committed to the 10 plus year commitment that comes with these bunnies. I don't want to see six months from now, oh, we had to give away the bunnies, we had to rehome them, the, you know, the kids are in school and we can't take care of them, whatever the excuse is. I want to see a full commitment from the LeBrant family to take care of these bunnies for the entirety of their lives and to actually give them the proper rabbit care. I don't know anything about where they're living, their habitats, are they being kept in cages? What are they being fed? Are they gonna get spayed and neutered? I don't know any of that. I guess we'll find out later on if they choose to share that information. In the story, they said it was two girls, two sisters. It's obvious that they went to a breeder because they have the two siblings. It's very rare to have two siblings together. They're obviously from the same litter. We have to remember that a lot of breeders advertise, you know, the bunnies being certain genders, and then it turns out after the fact that they were wrong or that they misled the customer. As you guys know, I was first told Lennon was a boy. And so for the first six months of her of her life, I thought she was a, a male and referred to her as such. And so there's a lot of cases in which people think they're bringing home the same genders, but then they start procreating and having babies and accidental litters and it always comes as a surprise to the owner. My advice to them is to really confirm that it's two girls, but even if even if it is two girls and they can't procreate, you still need to get them spayed because they will eventually start to bicker as the sex hormones kick in and they will get territorial. And so it's really hard to predict what direction this is gonna take, honestly. Yes, they're gonna be bonded, but that bond can break. So that that's something to look out for. I really hope that they, they know that they can be litter box trained, but it is contingent on getting them spayed. Now, Savannah and Cole, if you're gonna litter box train them, buy the hop litter box. Yes, I'm plugging my litter box, okay? Link below. But no, on a serious note, they need to get the proper tools. I'm I'm worried, you guys. I really am. I don't know. I don't know what's to come for these bunnies and this family. I don't know if they plan on making a YouTube video about this. Maybe not after this comes out. They might be discouraged. If you guys want to help them, send them some links to resources. Send them some some of our videos. Savannah Cole I come in peace. If you guys want any help, any guidance, if you want me to come meet with you and create a habitat for your bunnies, I'm happy to fly to Tennessee and do that. They probably won't take me up on my offer, but the offer is on the table. And again, you guys, there's this is no shade to Savannah and Cole or the kids or anything like that because I don't know them, but I know that with great power comes great responsibility. So let's help these guys. Let's spread the right messages. Let's get them to spread the right message so that they don't misinform their audiences because we don't want to perpetuate the negative stereotypes that come with bunnies. Here's what I think. I think they're in for a big surprise because they're gonna realize that bunnies are a lot of work. They're gonna see the poops all over the floor. They're gonna notice their phone chargers getting chewed. They're gonna see the, the bad side of it and I think they're gonna take a step back. And that's what scares me because I don't want these bunnies to get rehomed. So yeah, that's my reaction to the LeBrant family getting bunnies, what I think, my advice to them. What do you guys think? Comment down below and we'll see you all soon. Mwah.